Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Hygiene with Hilda. Today we're going to be talking about living room hygiene, the most important room in any house. The living room is where we receive most of our visitors, where we entertain up, where, where we entertain them, we help the children with the homework, or we just relax whilst watching TV. Therefore, it's quite important. The first point is to declutter your space daily. Once you've gathered all the clutter, start putting each piece back where it belongs. You could use an old laundry basket to hold all the clutter as you collect it. Make this a daily habit so that um, the following day it becomes easier for you. You don't have to start all over again. It really reduces um, all the stress of having clutter around. The danger of just leaving things lying around is that you may trip and fall and maybe in the process you spill something. It complicates your cleaning process. Um, upgrading your sofa to a wipeable material is uh, recommended. If not, try and use some protective covers or throws to avoid any spillages or to, to counter that. Um, also the clinging of pets, uh, pets fur or hair directly onto the sofas because it, it becomes harder to clean. Um, however, you can use a handheld vacuum cleaner to reach all those corners in the sofas and on the cushion cover. Dusting services, um, running a slightly damp cloth over the main surfaces such as the coffee table, the TV and shelves to pick up all the dust is recommended. Uh, dust from top to bottom as dust falls and settles. Uh, this means that you start dusting from the the top shelves or the higher surfaces going down to the bottom. This way you won't have to go back over areas that you've already cleaned. Start with the highest of Items such as the curtains and uh, carpets should be vacuum cleaned thoroughly every day and then washed at least once a month or twice a month depending on the amount of dust that um, gathers in your house. Um, opening your windows whilst you clean, uh, even when it's cold, is really a good idea. A 10 minute gust of fresh air works wonders in deodorizing your living room. Much better than spraying any air fresheners, ETC. Also when setting up furniture in uh, your living room, be sure to create some entrance space. Leave a gap in between your sofas. That will enable you to clean um, freely. That space is sort of like a doorway for people to come through instead of having to move things around or to crowd people. The smaller the space in which people live or occupy the more difficult it is to manage in terms of cleaning. So leaving that gap in, in, in the arrangement of your furniture will um, help in that people will, there'll be free movement and that way it will also be easier for, for you to clean the living room. Uh, the windows should be cleaned as well uh, regularly. Uh, I would say when the curtains are washed, the windows would also be then cleaned Items such as the curtains and uh, carpets should be vacuum cleaned thoroughly every day and then washed at least once a month or twice a month depending on the amount of dust that um, gathers in your house. Um, opening your windows whilst you clean, uh, even when it's cold, is really a good idea. A 10 minute gust of fresh air works wonders in deodorizing your living room. So, until next time, remember to stay clean. A clean place is a safe place. Thank you. And